there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a seamless pattern using Procreate. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your artboard and then we are just going to draw an image. I'm going to choose pink and I'm going to draw just a basic heart. Then I'm going to fill it in and I'm going to center this up on my canvas. So now what we're going to do is go to your layers panel and we are going to duplicate this layer four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. So this means we have five layers. So then you will go to the little arrow up here and we are going to turn on snapping. Make sure magnetics is turned off and turn on snapping. Make sure your distance and velocity are all the way up to max. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our layers and we're gonna select this top layer. And we're going to go to the selector tool and we are going to drag it to the top left corner. And here you'll see the little crosshairs and that's how you know that you have it centered up in the top left corner. So then go to the next layer and we're gonna do the same thing but we're going to drag it to the top right corner until you see the crosshairs again. And then go to the next layer, and we're going to drag it down to the bottom left corner until we see the crosshairs. And then do the same for this layer, and we're gonna take it to the bottom right corner. And you'll notice since we have snapping on, it just snaps in position. And when you see those orange crosshairs, that's when you have it centered up correctly. So now we have our pattern set. What we're going to do is go to the wrench tool and we're gonna copy the canvas and paste the canvas. And this is just going to make a screenshot of the pattern that we just made. So now it will be easy to test. So to test this pattern, I'm going to do a split screen and just drag over my Safari. And then once that's opened, you'll go to a craftybiz.net backslash pattern to test your pattern. And this will pull up the seamless pattern tester tool. And here you'll just go and you'll grab that screenshot you just made and just drag it over to test your pattern. And then that will show you what your seamless pattern looks like. And you can adjust the sliders to scale the pattern just to see what it will look like with more of your pattern or with less of your pattern. So now let's draw another pattern and let me show you some other things you can do. So I'm just grabbing this orange color and I'm just gonna draw like a fish shape here. Just a very basic fish. And I'm gonna move it to the center and I think I'm gonna make it just a tad bit bigger. So now we're going to do the same thing and we're going to make four copies of this fish. So that's one, two, three, and four for a total of five copies of the fish. So now we do the same thing and just drag it to the top right corner until you see the orange crosshairs and then drag the next one to the top right corner. And then we're going to drag this one to the bottom left corner and then drag this one to the bottom right corner. And if your crosshairs are hard to see, you can shrink down your, your canvas a little bit so you can see that cross there. So now we have this pattern. So let's test it by copying and pasting the canvas and pulling up the Safari into a split screen and I already have the pattern tester up here. So now let's drag this image over and give it a test. And that's what the goldfish would look like and we can scale it out so we can see more of the pattern or just leave it. So now let me show you, let's give this a little bit more interest by flipping this layer. So I'm gonna to go to modify and I'm going to go to the arrow tool and then down here, I'm just going to flip that fish that way. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste the canvas for this one and just drag it over. And you'll see that gives it just a little bit of a different look. 
And now let me show you something else you can do is let's add a little bit more pattern to this by just making some random polka dots. Just make sure that you don't touch the edge of the canvas with any of the polka dots for this one. So now go to modify and let's copy and paste that canvas again. And then let's drag it over and see what this one looks like. And then that is what this pattern looks like and you can adjust it. So now I can see I've got these two dots right here. I don't really like the way that looks. So let's just move that around a little bit by going back to the polka dot layer. And then I'm gonna take this selector tool here and make sure it's on freehand. And I'm just gonna move a couple of these dots around so it doesn't look like it's so in a line there. I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna go up with it just a little bit. And let's see what this looks like. I'll go back to the wrench tool, copy the canvas, paste the canvas, and then drag this image over to the pattern tester. And that looks a little bit better. They're not so in a line. So let me close this out and let me show you something else you can do. So now let's say you want to make a pattern out of clip art images. So what we're gonna do is just position your clip art images on the board and make sure none of these images are touching the sides. Just move them around. Oh, let me turn off snapping for this so I can move them around freely. Just move them around wherever you want. And let me get all of these on here. Let's flip that one. And let me grab this one. And if you like these particular flowers, you can find them at Happy Doodles. This clip art set is available and they do have commercial use. So you can use it to make your own seamless patterns and use it in any completed designs that you want. And you can sell those designs and you can sell your seamless patterns. I'm gonna have to move some around. I don't have enough room for this one. All right, I'm gonna put this one up here and then I'm going to move some of these around. So I'm gonna make some of these a little bit smaller. And let's move this one around. Let's put this one down here. And I'm just trying to fill up the board oops, without touching the sides. And that doesn't look great, but it will do for the example. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna group all of these together and then I'm going to duplicate that group. And then this time I'm just going to pinch all of that together to put it on one layer. And I'm going to that hide this bottom layer. I'm keeping the bottom layer just in case I wanna make some changes. That way they'll be easier to use and duplicate if I need to add some more flowers. So now I'm going to make four copies of this layer that I merged all together. So I'm going to duplicate it three times to make four copies. And this time I'm going to turn off all but the top layer. And then I'm going to go to the selector tool and click snapping and turn the snapping back on. Make sure magnetics is turned off. The distance and velocity is up to the max. And then we're going to do the same thing we did earlier, except we're taking this whole pattern to the corners. Click on the selector tool, and then now we're gonna drag this up until, until you see the crosshairs. And now turn on the next layer, click on it, and click your selector tool and drag this one to the top right corner until you see the crosshairs. And then, Drag this one to the bottom corner until we see the crosshairs. And then do the same for the bottom left corner. There we go. So this is what our pattern looks like right now. And I think we have room to add one more flower. So I'm gonna go down here to the group that I saved open earlier. And I'm just gonna pick one of these flowers and I'm gonna put it in the middle. I think I'm going to pick this one. Oops. 
I'm going to make a duplicate of that one and I'm just going to drag it up here and then I'm going to shrink it down. Oh wait, I've got that. Turn that group off and then I'm just going to make that one fit right here in the middle so it doesn't look so empty. I'm going to have to turn off snapping and there we go. So now my the middle part doesn't look as empty because I added that new flower. So now what we're gonna do is go to the wrench tool. And we're gonna click copy canvas and paste. And then that's going to make the copy of your canvas right here so we can test it in the pattern tester. So slide up and then select your browser and drag it over and then make sure you're on the seamless pattern tester tool from Crafty Biz blog. And we are going to go and select the pattern canvas that we just made and we are going to select it and drag it over. And then now you can see what your pattern looks like. And I think that one turned out super cute. So you can do this with any clip art images. Just make sure that wherever you buy them from, they allow you to use for seamless patterns because some clip art people don't allow that. But Happy Doodles does. If you want to go check out their clip art, they have thousands and thousands of images that you can use to create your own seamless patterns. And that was just a quick overview of how to make simple and a little more complex seamless patterns in Procreate. Thanks for watching.